Last December, you wrote that uh, we should rethink how we determine whose history is protected to begin with. Uh, the criteria, you said, and process for historic designation must be retooled. Um, you suggested that oral histories, cultural narratives, and less technical descriptions of uh, sites meaning should suffice uh, instead of what we currently require, which is detailed architectural and social histories. I think you concluded your writing by saying, preservationists have started to see past the formalities that have too long prevented us from recognizing diverse histories, but we must go further to tackle the legal structures that devalue the stories we all need to hear. So if confirmed, how would you advise the President and Congress to reform programs like, and I'll give you a couple, the National Register of Historic Places, uh, the Secretary of Interior's standards for treatment of historic properties, and even the Federal Historic Rehabilitation Tax Credit? Thank you so much for that question, Ranking Member. Um, so I, I appreciate that. And, and in, in, if confirmed as chair of the Advisory Council, uh, our responsibility is to advise the President and Congress and other agencies about what opportunities they might have to change uh, the rules. So you, you raise the, the secretary standards as one example. Um, that is the standard that is used to judge uh, uh, historic tax credits. It's, it's used on federal projects. And, and it, it could be modernized. It has not been modernized over the last couple, a couple of decades um, in any significant way to address current challenges, including disaster response, which we're seeing a, a greater need for. As for the National Register, that too, um, the criteria have been in place for many, many years. And, and actually, uh, it's, it, it, it's turned out to be uh, increasingly expensive to get a property listed on the National Register. So in rural communities, underserved communities, uh, you might need a little bit more flexibility. And, and that's one of the things that, as, as chair of the Advisory Council, I hope to convince my fellow 24 members uh, that, that that might be something that we look at. And of course, work with the Department of the Interior and the National Park Service to, to take a look and, and, and open up those criteria. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Senator Hines.